Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to set up an EKS cluster, Elastic Kubernetes Service cluster, along with its node group, and how to deploy a simple game application, that is 2048 game. So the good thing is that if the deployment is successful, we will be able to play a game. So let's start. Now we are in the Elastic Kubernetes, that is EKS console. So let us create a cluster first. Click on cluster create and we have to fill the required details let me give the name as eks cluster 101 and kubernetes version there are multiple versions appearing here let us go for not the default but the latest one 1.25 and then here you have to assign a service role for this cluster so let us create a new one for that i'll go to iam management console and here you can click on roles let me create a new role this role will be assigned to the EKS cluster so that EKS cluster can call other services on your behalf. So the entity type is service and here come down and select not EC2, not Lambda, but EKS. So just type EKS and select that. So it will list a few things. So select EKS cluster. Click on next. It will show you one policy which is Amazon EKS cluster policy. And this is what we need. So you don't need to add any further permissions. This is fine. Click on next and it's asking for a name for the role. I will give it as EKS cluster role 101 and uh, rest everything you just leave it as default. Create the role. Yeah, it is created. That is good. So go back to the EKS console. You can see that it is showing two. Let me select the one which I just created. Okay, and then you come down no need to change any of these values click on next the default vpc so let us use the default vpc to create the cluster choose the subnets in your vpc we don't need all the six let me just remove three of them now it is asking for security groups what you should do is you should create a security group which has at least ports 2280 and 8080 open so what you can do is you can go to the ec2 management console and create a security group i will call it eks security group 101 and description i will just copy this here copy and paste inbound rule we have to update our rule so let me add ssh first ssh from anywhere then let me add 80 that is HTTP from anywhere and that's added. Now let me add 8080. That's it. That is enough. 0, Create the security group. That is sufficient. Just go back to your EKS console and refresh this. Now select whichever we just added. What was the name? It is EKS security group 101. Okay. So I have added that. This is the one. Cluster IP address family IPv4 is okay and rest everything we will leave it as default. Cluster endpoint access also let it be public. Next, here you have to configure logging. For this hands-on exercise, let us ignore that. And here, networking related, there are a couple of components. Amazon VPC CNI, Core DNS, Kube Proxy, etc. Again, for this simple exercise, let us leave all these as default, let us not try to change anything. It is asking for which version you want to add. There are multiple versions, but let us go with the default value. Now you reach here. This is the final review. And if you want to edit anything, change anything, you can do that now. I don't think I need to change anything. I'm going to create. So this will take around 12 minutes. Okay, so we have to wait. I'll pause the screen until then. And once the cluster is created, I'll come back. So the EKS cluster is active. We have set up the control plane, but we need to set up the data plane now. For that, you need to go to compute and create a node group. And this node group will require a new IAM role. So let's create that IAM role first and then come back and create the node group. Let's go to IAM management console. Click on roles, create role. It's a service linked role. So AWS service and EC2 because we are going to assign this role to the EC2 instances which are part of the node group. Click on next. There are three policies required. I'll be giving information about this in the description. So one is EKS worker node policy. Worker node, select that. Remove that filter. The next one is EKS CNI policy. Select that and again remove that filter. And the third one is EC2 container registry read only. EC2 container registry read only. So this is the one. Select that. Click next. 
come down and check if those three policies are selected go up and give a name let me give the name as node group role 101 come down and click on create role let's wait till the role is created okay it is created now go to the eks console click on compute click on add node group okay now let's enter a name i'll give eks node group 102 the role I just created node group role 101. Come down, launch template. Let's leave it as default. You don't need to change any of these. Let's leave default values for all those. Click on next. AMI type, let it be Amazon Linux 2. On demand capacity type, instance type T3 medium. That is good. In this auto scaling group, let's change the desired size, minimum size and maximum size to one because we will not need more than one node in the node group. Click next. Subnets are fine. Click next. Now we have reached the review stage. I'm not planning to change anything. So let me create it. This will take around three minutes to create the node group. Let me pause here and I'll come back once the node group is ready. The node group is now ready. You can see the status as active. The next step is to authenticate to this cluster by creating the cube config file. For that, let's open the cloud shell. To open the cloud shell, you can click on this symbol here. You will open this cloud shell terminal. You can use this terminal to issue any CLI commands. The first one is AWS STS get caller identity. To see if my user id and account number is appearing correctly it is appearing correctly that is good the next thing is i need to update the cube config file you have to give the name of the cluster enter so the config file has been created you can just check using cat command okay now the next step is to create the pod for that you need to create the configuration file for the pod ensure that editor nano is installed on your cloud shell to install nano you can issue the command sudo m install nano minus five it is already installed now let's create the configuration file for the pod control o enter control x now you have to apply the configuration file by issuing this command kubectl apply minus f the config file name so it says the pod is created. You can issue the command kubectl get ports. And you can see that the pod is already running. The next step is to create the service which will deploy a load balancer which will be the external endpoint for your pod. Let's use nano editor to create that service. Control O enter and control X. Now you have to apply this config file kubectl apply minus f then the file name use the describe command to check if it has created the resources properly so it has created the load balancer now we can go to the ec2 console and find this load balancer the name of which starts with a85f and we can try to access the web page or we can try to access the game using the dns name of this load balancer let's go to ec2 Go to load balancers. So this is the load balancer. Click on that and ensure that status shows one of one instances in service. If there is any issue, it will show zero of one instances. So it looks like it is working fine. Just copy the DNS name here. Copy and paste it here. So you can see that the 2048 game is installed in EKS. That's why you are able to see the game here. You can play that as well just use the arrow key if you use the arrow key the numbers will move to the right side and if the same number is there on on that side where you have moved it will add up and it will become double that number for example if i use the up arrow now this two will merge with this two and it will become four and we have to actually get 2048 that is a game so it is four so if i play up arrow again this two will merge with this two and that also will become four now i can merge this four with that four using right arrow okay anyway we will stop playing here so what we have done right now is to deploy a container with image of the 2048 game into an eks cluster now once we are done with this exercise we actually need to clean up because the eks cluster is not free there will be a nominal charge let's avoid that as well and for that you have to come here and you have to delete the pod as well as the service so for that you can just do cube cut till delete minus f you have to enter that yaml file name okay now the same way you have to delete the my game service as well 
Before you close, please go ahead and delete the cluster as well as the node group. First, you will have to delete the node group. Go to compute, select the node group, click on delete. You will have to type the name of the node group, delete. And then you have to delete the cluster. Go to clusters, select, click on delete. EKS cluster 101 delete. It will allow you to delete it only after the node group has been deleted. So we have just completed deploying a simple application into Amazon EKS. In my channel, I'll be publishing similar hands-on exercises in future as well. So you may please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.